Hello, all ya boys and girls, it's Michael here from MTG and more. And welcome to part 3 of the Mausoleum series. This time we are going to look at the statue. Just as always, we are going to start with cold grey for the stone and then stone wall grey for the highlights on the stone. So this is the uh, stone action, of course sped up just like the rest of the, uh, of the clips. Just because I think this is more convenient. There you go. Now we are going to use the highlights with the stonewall grey. And immediately you can see some really nice details popping up. And I still think this is one of the better ways to make stone or wall. It's pretty straightforward. But I think it's still got the best results you can get when you want to paint easy, fast and good. On with the bone white for the skulls around the base. Pretty tedious work, there's nothing much to tell about this. This is just painting the skulls. And after that we are going to use some Agrax Earthshade. Like that bottle. To, yeah, to dip all the skulls in the Agrax Earthshade. Once again, pretty straightforward job. This is actually a pretty easy model and much more easy than the, uh, the rest of the walls, the bases even, and everything else, which we just saw. After this, we are going to use some bolt gun metal. Yeah, that one. That was really quick. Um, to paint the statue itself, bolt gun metal, you say, yeah, just you wait. I've already seen the result, of course, when I'm using the... Uh, filming this and, and, and taping this so just you wait that's it now we are going to wash the skulls no not wash the skulls dry brush the skulls with actually the same bone white let's not make a fuss of this this is pretty straightforward again pretty easy after that we are going to wash and with a watered down uh, paint Nylac Oxide, the statue as you can see here. Just pouring it all over, just make sure it doesn't puddle where you need or pool. And just easy go around the statue. Then we are going to paint the leaves with Goblin Green. It's Phileo's Goblin Green by the way. Just be as tight as possible. When you're done with that, let's go back to the statue. Now the Nylac Oxide is dry. Give it a really, really heavy dry brush of bronze. And the cool thing about this is, is when you really heavy dry brush the bronze, the silver will shine through just a bit, which gives it a nice flare and glare. And the Nylac Oxide really gets in the, uh, in the crevices and all the small parts. So back to the roots again with some uh, Camo Shade. As you can see right here. Just pouring it over but just be careful that you don't pour it over too much. And don't get it on the statue because it really will give a green glow. For the keen eye I already did some, uh, some eyes in the skulls. But now it's for scorpion green go past the leaves and basically when you are done with the leaves you are basically done with the whole statue. This looks pretty amazing if you tell me. It's a pretty easy paint and if you need to do two of those in the big package of the uh, Sigmarite Mausoleum, not the Garden of Moor then this would be really easy and convenient so thank you for watching i hope you have something uh, or you can do something with this uh, tutorial um, i do want to have a question for you guys should i uh, tone it a bit down or is the brightness just correct because i'm still doubting here 
Thank you for watching. May the dice be forever in your favor. See you next time. Bye-bye.